Tonight, a mom seeking justice for her 18-year-old daughter, Laura Gomez Cordes, was found dead at a friend's house three weeks ago. At first, detectives thought she committed suicide, but tonight her mother tells News 6 she wants some answers. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval is live tonight with more on this. Eric? Yeah, Lena Cuertas tells us, Matt, that she knows the detectives here in this building at the Orange County Sheriff's Office are working hard to find the person who killed her daughter. But in her words, they're not moving fast enough. She says they know that she didn't kill herself. She says they know that uh, there was only a few people around when all this happened. So she's wondering why there hasn't been an arrest. I don't know what I'm going to do without him. Lena Cuartes holds on to a memory card from her daughter Laura's funeral. She was my only daughter, so I am feel lonely. So I feel that my heart is broken completely. On March 30th, she says Laura had come home from school. She was a very kind person. Everybody loved her at mm -hmm. school. That's when she says Laura went over to a friend's house here on Bellsworth Way. She says she went for a snack and a visit before venturing off to Universal Studios for work. She says what happened inside this house, though, is still a mystery. Somehow, Laura was shot on the right side of her body, the bullet hitting her pulmonary artery. The 18-year-old was killed. At first, Orange County Sheriff's investigators said they responded here to a reported suicide attempt, but they quickly learned it wasn't a suicide. And I so got, did the medical examiner. I got the death certificate that is very clear stated that it was homicide, but it wasn't a suicide. It was a homicide. Now, Laura's mother says she finds herself making sure her daughter's death isn't put on investigators' back burner. And she says she won't rest. I'm going to stay here for her. I'm going to fight for her. I'm going to go above and beyond to get this result for her because I know that somebody has to pay for her death. So as detectives work to find who killed her daughter, uh, actually her friends have stepped up to help her, especially with funeral costs. They've set up a GoFundMe account. We put a link to that page on our website at clickorlando.com. Just look for this story. Reporting live from the Orange County Sheriff's Headquarters tonight, Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt. Eric, thank you.